All right, Shannon Ross. Go ahead, Bruce. You want to say something? I was going to say, I think everybody was pretty clear and understanding of what ego mean you know, in regards to the, to the topic. I think what can actually be challenged in the topic is whether or not, how do you know when you're self-aware or not? Because from my understanding, all humans are self-aware. You get what I'm saying? Everybody's self-aware. Like I don't, I don't know where there's. Uh, if somebody can explain me a scenario or an example where you're not self-aware, that's if if I was to challenge this topic on on the context behind it, that's what I would challenge. I wouldn't so much challenge the part about ego. Because even artificial intelligence, I mean, like if you watch Terminator, shit, the machines became self-aware. I mean, they were able to think for themselves. I mean, they were able to evolve in the way they would they would operate and move. But as far as humans, we are already capable of doing that from birth. So saying when you're self-aware, I think that could be challenged regarding the topic. I I'll challenge you to say that, yeah, I guess to an extent, everyone is somewhat self-aware or can be. But I think uh, this ego thing speaks more to people's ability to overestimate their self-awareness. All right. So we see it a lot in this space and in people interacting with each other over contentious topics. You go with someone, you put on the boxing gloves, you get in the ring, but you're not ready to box. That person eat your ass up on the panel. That's somebody overestimating their self-awareness. I see it every day. I'm just saying. That sounds like somebody's overestimating their ability to be a competitor and, and uh, step up to a challenge. But as far as being self, you're still self-aware. You just, you're just overestimating your ability. Like, I, I don't know if y'all, any of y'all play sports. Some guys, some guys are walking the gym and they'll see the other team come in. And they'll see how little the, the, the opponent is. And they can underestimate the opponent based on its size. It, I think that's an underestimate. It's not that it's not that you're you're not self-aware. It's that you're 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 I wouldn't say overly confident. I would just say you don't understand that your your skill and your ability might not be on the same level as your opponent. Yeah, but Bruce is self-aware is also studying, watch your film paying attention you know i'm not gonna go in there blind and just uh hope and expect pray and expect for the best i'm gonna prepare myself well that's just called being prepared <laughs> so i think i think bruiser is ten, is right to a, to an extent uh where he said that he believes that everybody is self-aware i think that's the reason why i use the word self-actualization rather than self-awareness um because what self what self actualization means is um, the realization or fulfillment of one's talents and potentialities, and I think that's what he's referring to when he's saying that everybody knows that they are who they are. You know what I mean? But to honestly know who you are in regards to your own potential, your own talent, and being able to go into an arena and go at somebody else is the difference. You know what? That that's a good so. I'm trying to put it into words because I'm trying to help myself understand it. To an extent, everybody is aware that they are who they are, but has the potential to overestimate themselves about who they're up against. Right. So I think one of the most <laughs> the recent in recent history, one of the most famous coaching lines is a coach getting up there after a badass whipping. What was it? The Browns saying. They are who we thought they were. <laughs> hey, get up off my pairs. Get up off my yeah. pairs. Hey. <laughs> they are who we thought they were. Right? <laughs> we went out there. We set all the cheers. We got pumped up, and they whooped our ass. Gave them right? that goodness. That was Dennis exactly. Green with the Cardinals. With the Arizona that Cardinals. Dennis Green with the Cardinals. Yeah. Yeah. Cardinals come back over. <laughs> Yo, that was so funny. But, yeah, when you're up against something, yeah, you could boost your chest up and – you can say, I'm going to do this. And you know what? Sometimes self-awareness lets you know, hey, I'm going to fight, right? Because that's gangster. I'm just going to fight. I may not win, but so that's true. Um, I think that's the maybe the divide we're missing. We got to bridge that gap real quick because, yeah, to an extent, everybody is self-aware. 
But I believe that we live in a time now of severe egotism and narcissistic behavior. Mm. So those are things that can impede your self-awareness. Right. We, we I've, now I'm on like 37 different streams looking at people asking if women should be in male spaces. We can say that some women that come into the male spaces or whatever they call it, manosphere or whatever, um, they are not self-aware about where they're at. They get too comfortable. They get narcissistic. They start their ego starts to get blown up. Maybe they won a few. They, they jabbed a few times and nobody corrected them. And then we watch their behavior get out of line. So I think that's one way we can absolutely say narcissism can impede your ability to be self-aware. That's interesting that that even became a conversation. I didn't think that was going to go that far. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I'm going there. Bro. Trigger Mike. Catch the Trigger Mike show every morning. <laughs> <laughs> never it seems like some of the stuff some of the stuff could easily be related to uh situational awareness more so self-aware yeah i would i would i could I, if someone would said that i would have been like i i agree situational awareness you think most people are situationally aware i believe so i would say most people are situationally unaware well then that means that they're not self-aware they can be self-aware and still unaware of the situation around them. Situation is, is is related to your surroundings, the environment you come into. Like Trigger Mike said, if a woman come on the panel on Le Peep Let's Talk, and she ain't never watched previous episodes of Le, Le, Le Peep Let's Talk, and know that, hey, look, we don't, hey, you push back, you better be able to substantiate what you're saying. You don't understand the situation you're getting into. That's me. The environment too, is different in Sundays. But yeah, humble that. I think most people are situationally aware. There's a reason why there's uh, y'all giving credit. Y'all giving credit to people. Uh, maybe it's just me, right? Um, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Sweeney. I, I'll follow after you. I apologize. I was gonna say because if you think about it, if you look at people as a whole, how, do most people find themselves in jacked up situations where they weren't around aware of their surroundings? No, we see people who get into it, but. As a group, as a whole, I don't see I don't see too many people finding like if you it, just look at this platform to say to, so to speak. I'm sure like like myself, I've tried my damnedest to get people to like come on and do podcasts and stuff. And most people are like, no, nah, I ain't getting on that. I can't. You know, what I mean, I'm about to get in front of that camera and say some wild like. And that was majority of the people I encountered. Only the people who were crazy enough, if not bold enough, to do it were the ones that was able to come on camera and and do it. Even when you look at like, so I think most people are like, they aware of their situation. They're aware of their limitations and they tend to sit back in that. And that's why I would disagree. I would dis disagree because everybody has the potential to, to do something of greatness because it's, it's a matter of practice. Right. So as a, as a former educator, if I, if I told my students, you know, uh, based on your last year's scores, I can see y'all probably not going to do that well this year then that means that what am I even here to teach for, right? I have to see that these students are, are capable of achieving what it is that I've set the bar at. So there is a self-awareness. Um, I mean, y'all speaking of a self-awareness that, that most people have, and I'm saying that uh, I don't think most people do because if most people were self-aware, then they know that they can achieve great things most of the people that uh we encounter uh are, are just cool with just doing it's cool with mediocrity 